Hey guys, the Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amber Marie. And guys, today was 80s day at work, hence why I have my hair in pigtails and I did have a cowboy hat on. Who did we have a cool day at work? They even brought in full grown horses for the residents. Yeah, that was fun, but scary, especially when the owner of the horses hands me a horse that's getting very antsy and telling me to babysit it. Whew. But anyways, so today's video, guys, I'm going to show you uh, two new perfumes that I am making. And also, before I get into the DIY video, I'm going to show you guys two perfume oils that I picked up from Marshalls for $10 each, literally $10 each, and they are worth it. Like, run, go get them. They are the bomb. The first one is from Sand and Fog. Sorry, guys, the dog hit the door and my mirror's back behind there. Um, and this one is a Jasmine and Cedarwood. This straight smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Yes, everybody and their mom has done this scent, but this, for 10 bucks, you can't beat this one. This is a 30 ml of Eau de Parfum oil. I could probably turn this into a spray, but I only used just a couple drops on my skin and I smelt it all day long. Now, eventually it does soften down, but this is a long lasting perfume oil and I enjoyed it. I am definitely going to be wearing this on my skin plus doing the spray because the more I can smell like Baccarat Rouge, yeah, the more I'm going to enjoy it. And I've actually backed away from Baccarat Rouge for at least a year or two now just because I was getting overwhelmed by everybody wearing it. But when I went to the emergency room to get checked for my seven-day fever... Um, the radiologist happened to be wearing Baccarat Rouge and of course it brought out the itching for it. But this is stunning. It was $10. You can't beat it. Absolutely love it. It's well worth $10. The second one that I picked up was Vanilla Musk. This one is the bomb. I can't tell you what it smells like, but it's the bomb. I actually wore this one today because y'all back in the 80s, what was popular? Musk. Um, and this one's quite beautiful. It's more vanilla than it is musk, but it's it's gorgeous. And then the other one I didn't pick up was the, um, it smells like Santal. It's Santal and cardamom. And it smells like Lalabo Santal 31. And actually it was very strong. Like it smelled like a very super concentrated of my Santal 31. Um, I didn't get it because I already own the bottle of it, but honestly, I think I'm going to go back and get it because I think it will be a great layering combo. If one wears down, the other one's going to be there as the backup. So there are the two finds for the week. 20 bucks, guys. Best buy yet in quite some time. Okay, now moving on to the next thing that I bought um, was these beautiful bottles here. I have two. I've already made a perfume oil spray in one. So I purchased them from a company called All Bottles USA. I've seen them selling on Macari and I noticed there was like a website link. So I went ahead and jumped on their website and it was a better deal. Uh, so they have several different types of bottles in various sizes and they're all refillable. But really, what I really liked about this company is some of the bottles look like the name brands. For instance, this one right here is a 30 ml bottle that looks just like a Christian Dior bottle, especially the Privé line. Is it Privé? The luxury line. So I got five of these for $18.95. And then the other bottle style that I got that I've already put a perfume in is this style here that looks like Louis Vuitton bottles. I had a bunch of Louis Vuitton perfume oils and Christian Dior and like I said, I've noticed a lot of fakes being sold on Macari, and at least I know what my perfume oils smell like and what's in them versus what's being sold as fake. So I don't do, I don't buy fake perfumes. Uh, I rather buy perfume oils, not to say fakes are bad, just I need to know where they're coming from. Because if you look up the history behind fake perfumes, sometimes they put urine in them. Sometimes they put chemicals in them. 
I've done had a bad experience with it. So this is the route that I went. So I got five of these little bottles right here for $15.95. Um, and I went with the 30 mLs because honestly, guys, look behind me. The whole cabinet shelving system behind me is full of perfume. I don't need big bottles. I don't really need to be dropping any more money into perfume. But every once in a while, I get an itching for a new scent. And I have tons of perfume oils. So I said, what the heck? Let's go ahead and just make some. So yeah. So we are going in this video. I have selected Le Col, Col Noir by Christian Dior. And I do believe this perfume oil came from Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics. The other one that I selected for the Louis Vuitton bottle, which you guys can see I've already made. I just made this. And it is Le Sable Roses by Louis Vuitton. Um, again, it's in an extract concentrate. So it should be super strong. This is a 30 ml. I put 5 ml uh, perfume oil in it. I added my vegetable glycerin. But with this particular bottle, I added just a couple drops of jojoba oil. A lot of people were asking me, hey, can you make one? So this is going to be my jojoba oil tester right here to see if it makes it stronger and lasts longer. The problem is going to be I already made it in an extract, so I don't know if it's going to weed it out, but we're going to do the same thing for this Christian Dior one because I know this particular scent right here, Le Col Noir, is a little bit of a light to moderate scent, so hopefully it'll amp it up to a moderate scent and I will be able to thoroughly enjoy it. So here we go, guys. Let me get everything ready and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So here is the little cute little Christian Dior bottle. You can see here the cap obviously is not magnetic. It'd have been really cool if it was, but it would have been a lot more pricier. But I did like this as far as refillable bottles. These are perfect size too. You can travel with these. So it just unscrews. You ain't got to cut the tubing. It's already fit for the bottle. So let's go ahead and do it. First thing I'm going to add into this is my vegetable glycerin. Since this is a 30 ml, I'm only going to do a half of a dropper. You can see it here, half. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my bottle. I like to call that the priest. When you make perfume, perfume oils into a spray, it's like a marriage. So the priest has went in. Well, today the, the priest needs a little bit of an assistant. So the assistant is going to be the jojoba oil. And this is a 1 ml syringe, and I am literally just doing to the 1. So this is like 0 0.1. Very, very small amount of jojoba oil going in there. Okay. There you go. You see it? Very, very tiny amount. Guys, do not put 1 ml of jojoba oil in there. I'm just using a 1 ml. You're just putting just like maybe 2-3 drops. That's it. You don't need much of the jojoba oil. I did get my jojoba oil from Scented Expression Supplies. This is a jojoba oil organic. And it says that it's good for... Co-processing soaps, lotion, creams, bonds, moisturizer, and conditioner. So, there we go. So, I have my vegetable glycerin and my few drops of jojoba oil in there. Now, I'm going to open up my perfume oil. Again, I got this perfume oil from Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics. They're another really good company that sells perfume oils. Woo! They are out of Kuwait, but I've never had... Ooh, this one's pretty. And yes, I hope this jojoba oil can amp it just a little bit. Beautiful. This smells like definitely a year-round type, very feminine fragrance. So let's go ahead and dump what I like to call the bride into the bottle with the priest and the assistant.
Now, when I actually start to wear these, because I'm making it so much stronger than I usually do, I will probably start off with just two to three sprays and go from there. I honestly couldn't see no more than five sprays. That I mean, I think they're going to be pretty beastly as is. So, I'm going to get my syringe back out. I have my shot glass that's full of Everclear here. And I'm going to squirt one ml of alcohol in the perfume bottle and get the remaining perfume oil out of there that I couldn't get poured out. We waste none in this household. Every inch of that perfume oil is valuable. I'm going to go ahead and dump it into my bottle. So now I'm starting to pour the groom in here. The groom is the Everclear. Put my little cap back on here. And guys, don't throw the label away. Use that to stick it on your bottle. I'm going to go ahead and top the rest of this. Ooh, you can see how thick it is. It's so thick right now. Can you see the little golden spots? That's the jojoba oil. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the alcohol in here, and I'll be right back because I have a little 1 ml syringe. It's going to take a hot minute. Be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I haven't shook it yet. You can kind of still see... You see the dot there, the little bubbles? That's the jojoba oil sitting there. So let's go ahead and put its cap on there. Give her a shake and mix it all together. You're going to have to shake it a little bit more than usual if you do the jojoba oil because it does take a little bit longer for it to break down in the alcohol. Um, it's usually why I don't go with it, but jojoba oil will break down in alcohol. So if you do have like a perfume oil that you bought from somebody that it is made in a base of jojoba oil, you may be able to get away with making it into a spray, but no other type of carriers will do that. It will literally look like oil and vinegar. So there is that one. I left just a little neck room there so I could shake it up. And like I said, I'll put the label on here. And then as far as the other one goes, I just made this one before the video and you can see it came out very clear. And the one I went with was Le Sable Roses by Louis Vuitton. Super cute. I'll actually slap some tape over this one and should be good to go. So there you go, guys. There are two new perfume oils, sprays that I made. The cute little bottles that I picked up. Again, the company's name is All Bottles USA. Type it together. Go on their website, picky up some cute refillable bottles. They've got Christian Dior type ones. They've got Louis Vuitton. They have Diptyque. They have Byretto. I think they even have some of the, because the Byretto and the new Joe Malone uh, bottles are similar. They have those with the white caps versus the black caps. They got it quite a bit there. They do have various sizes. I can't guarantee that this particular bottle and this particular bottle comes in a bigger size because I just immediately went for 30 mLs because, yeah, I just know that I don't need massive bottles anymore. So I figured I'd just make them in concentrated. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. For those that have already seen me make these perfume oils into sprays, I appreciate you staying with the video from start to finish. With that said, you guys have an awesome day. Bye, guys.